What's up everyone, it's Tenratitar Tube and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire video. You may have noticed that news has been slowing down for these new games, but that does not stop the speculation that goes on every day. Recently, Game Freak's battle director Shigeki Morimoto posted a message on the official Pokemon Global Link site. There's not much to the article other than the mentioning of inverse battles and this. It appears that Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire have been announced. I think these new games are going to cause a huge change in the world of battling. This may not seem like much, but anything officially announced like this is taken into deep consideration, especially by Pokemon fans that enjoy speculating what is meant by this. There are multiple theories going on about introducing new battle related things into Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, but the best of these theories is about underwater battles. But like every theory, there can be two sides that either support it or go against it. The main thought against the theme of having underwater battles is the thought that fans feel Game Freak wouldn't introduce a battle that would exclude certain groups of Pokemon. The same thing happened around a year ago while the internet was speculating on X and Y and what it could bring. When an early leaker posted information about a new fairy typing, Mewtwo getting two new forms and a new battling style that involved Pokemon in the air, it was flagged as fake for the same reason. We never thought Game Freak would introduce a battle style that only allowed Allow certain Pokemon to participate, but Sky Battles were confirmed later by the Pokemon Company themselves. If you're not familiar, Sky Battles are a battling style that take place in the air where only 109 Pokemon can participate, leaving over 600 others out. Along with inverse battles, sky battles are exclusive to X and Y and are not battling styles that can be used to challenge your friends online. Hoenn being the region with the most water fits the theme of underwater battling and it makes perfect sense to include it in these games as an exclusive battling style as well. In a way, even Pokemon Diamond, Pearl and Platinum had an entire underground world for mining. In the same way, they can include an entire expansion to the underwater world allowing you to explore new areas and catch different Pokemon. Underwater trainers could be roaming around requesting under water battles. Together, I think it would be a huge, fun, and realistic addition to these remakes. But this is just one of the many possibilities of a change in our battling style. We can never tell what is really meant by Morimoto's statement, and it can go from a new battle mechanic to an ability change, but only time will tell. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Let me know what you think about underwater battles and an expansion to the underwater world. Like I said earlier, I feel like it would perfectly match the theme of Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and I think it would make a great addition to the game. There are many coverage videos about Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire to come, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.